All right, YouTube, it's Chase with Chasing Bass, and today we're back with another video. I am on a lake that I'm practicing for a tournament that is in two days. Today is Thursday, and the tournament's on Saturday. Um, this is a top 25 um, tournament. It's free, so as long as you are in the top 25, you got to fish this tournament, and we're fishing for about... I want to say five thousand dollars overall. So first place is like two, second is a is like a thousand. It kind of goes down from there, but it's five thousand dollars we're fishing for out of twenty-five boats. It's pretty good odds, uh, in my opinion. <laughs> so, and it's just a weekly tournament uh, here in East Texas. They have it every Thursday night on this lake, and uh, I think it's like fifteen bucks to 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 enter. Not much. But anyways, so today I'm out practicing. I came out here, I think, like a week or two ago, and I did really good. I caught, I caught some fish. Uh, I didn't post that video just because, and this video won't be posted until after the tournament, just because I don't want anybody to uh, see what I'm doing if I get on them. And I'm gonna stick a few today. We're gonna come back out tomorrow, and uh, we won't stick those. We'll just make sure they're still there if we can find them. Anyways, stay tuned, guys. So what I'm doing is there is a main point right here with a lot of laydowns. And I'm just, oh man, there went a bite right there. <laughs> Throwing a uh, finesse jig, really shallow. Right now the water temperature, 60 degree water temperature. And there is a lot of spotted bass in this lake. Also large mouth, uh, no small mouth but spotted bass and largemouth. Lots of spotted bass, and they're all small. There, starving. If y'all haven't had these, Zaps, spicy Cajun crawl taters. Yeah, spicy Cajun crawl taters. If you haven't had these, they're awesome. This is, might be a little bit better. Eh. Is that a spot? Yep, it's a spotted bass. Pretty sure it's a spotted bass. There's a little. Wait, is that a spot? I don't know. I can't really tell, but it looks like a spot. There's uh, the rough spots are on his tongue, so. And to keep a spot. Right, can you see it? There's a little rough patch right on the tongue. What's up, man? What were you saying? <laughs> All right, caught one on a spinnerbait. Oh, 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 it broke. Look at that. It broke the spinner bait. God. They are chomping. 
on a spinner bait. Crazy. What's up guys? It's another day here on the lake. It's my last day that I can practice. Um, tomorrow is the tournament. It's Saturday today. No, it's Friday today. Yeah, it's Friday. Tomorrow is Saturday. It's going to be the tournament. And I'm just going to go out here and do some stuff that I didn't do yesterday. Yesterday I really found them um, hitting on that spinner bait. Uh, hopefully I can find another pattern that will work so I can have a backup plan. But tomorrow it's supposed to be even warmer. I feel like the water temperature is going to get a little warmer too. Um, so I feel like they'll be moving even shallow, you know, more shallow. The fish, will, more fish will be moving up shallow is what I'm trying to say. So uh, guys, stay tuned. We're going to be going out here and practicing, trying to find some big ones. That was bite number one. I really didn't set the hook. I didn't want to catch him, but he came off this really shallow lay down right here on the spinner bait. So that gives me an idea. That's the first bite. I saw one cruiser. They are moving up shallow. Okay, I didn't try to catch this one, but I just came up and grabbed my spinner bait. I mean, he was right on the bank, really, really shallow. Just not finding any big ones. These are all, I believe, male bass moving up shallow, getting ready for spawning time. But it's not what we need. Okay. I just saw this water is fairly clear right here. And as I was bringing that spinner bait along, I saw a shadow come out from underneath the dock. Looked like to be a two pounder, somewhere around there. Not that big, but it was still a bigger fish. So, still more good signs. So, last night when it got dark, me and Cody went ahead and fished. There's a lot of people that put lights on docks out here. And so, we went and fished those when it got dark. and. Cody was throwing like a square bill and a uh, jerk bait, and I was throwing a that finesse jig that I've been throwing all day, and I was just wearing them out. I caught like four or five, and he only caught one. So around the lights will be good thing to start on first thing in the morning tomorrow, uh, seven o'clock. Though you know it's still gonna be it's gonna be sunlight. It's gonna be daylight out, but the fish are still gonna hang around where that light was at. There's lots and lots of shad. Uh, bait fish, perch, that, those things around those lights. So they're still going to be kind of around that general area. So I think that maybe that might where we're going to start tomorrow. Not sure yet. A little bit better fish. Jerk bait went a little deeper. Sitting in about 21 foot of water, throwing up a little shallower. So, bigger jerk bait that did the trick. I think I'm gonna pull off this spot because that's the biggest fish I've caught in a while.
another one. Now, decided to change to a KVD flat side crankbait. I'm coming up on a bridge right here and just wanted something moving that I can uh, fish in this, uh, you know, eight to 10 foot of water. And crawfish pattern this time of year is always good. crazy when you're getting excited over those kind of fish right there but we'll take them a little bit bigger Lake sucks. This is what you catch at this lake. I don't think there's any big fish in this lake. Just spots.